All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. It is Sunday today, March 5th, and we are getting ready for the second big sumo tournament of March. Now, of course, this, this tournament is starting different than any other welcome video I've made in the past 10 plus years of having a sumo channel. And hopefully, well, if you're watching this, obviously you found the new channel. Thank you. Um, I hope you've uh, subscribed and, uh, uh, you know, leave some likes and stuff. So that kind of tells YouTube to share this with other people that are interested in sumo. And that helps us out. Of course, I'll, I'm still on Twitter. So go there for updates and I will share the links to videos, etc. All right. So we've got a few things to talk about. Obviously, we want to talk about the Bonds K. What's coming up in March? Uh, the, the tournament starts one week from today on March 12th and goes for 15 days until March 26th. It's in the city of Osaka, which is kind of between where I live and Tokyo, kind of in the middle. Um, and uh, it's, you know, warmer in March than it was in January for sure. Um, the cherry blossoms will start to come out. It's, it's a fairly, I don't know, you know, you can kind of see I've got my window, my curtains open over there. Um, a fairly warmer day. So it's it's a nice time of year to come and visit. The only problem is, um, you know, like me as a teacher, my school ends on March 20th. And I still have to do work and go to school, but the students stop going. So spring break starts. So everywhere you go in Japan is is, is super crowded, especially if it's any kind of touristy thing. Um, yeah, I don't think it will affect the sumo that much, um, but certainly people do take time off, etc., and go on family trips and things like that. So if you as a tourist, I guess is what I'm saying, were coming to Japan and you wanted to travel around and include sumo in your itinerary for March, um, that would be wonderful. You'd probably try to go on a weekday. You'd, you'd have a much better selection of seats uh, than a weekend. But uh, anywhere else you went, I guess I should say, Kyoto, Nara, Tokyo, of course, USJ, Tokyo Disneyland, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you know, going to be packed out with lots of people. But it is a lovely time of year, as long as you don't mind it being a little chilly, a little chilly. All right, so um, what should we talk about? Well, we uh, like I said, we need to talk about what's happening in March. We'll talk about how the coverage is going to go, um, and we'll talk a little bit. I am going to have kind of a a contest of sorts. I consider it more of a giveaway, but I'll probably do the same thing where you have to predict. Um, these are little notebooks I might give away. Some of them are empty inside. Some of oh, these are both empty. Does this one have line paper in it? Yeah, some of them have line paper in it. Um, so I picked these up on Yahoo auctions and uh, they're just kind of fun. And there's they, these are the mini ones and then there's bigger ones. Um, uh, uh, one of the guys over on the sumo collector site, you know, where I do all my things, sent me this nifty kind of 2023 calendar with all the, uh, odd numbered months, you know, when, when the sumo happens, etc. So I was going to put it up somewhere in my house, but I have so many calendars that I'm going to save it. And in April, when I start my new class, because, you know, the school year ends in March, I'm going to put it up in my classroom. And uh, my students will go, man, Mr. Harris, we don't, we don't know anything about sumo. What's this? Because <laughs> none of them know anything about sumo. Um, but I'll force it upon them, damn it. <laughs> you will learn. <laughs> Who is Terano Fuji? Um, so, uh, yeah, so we'll talk about that. And it'll just be like predict. It's just going to be a predict the winner contest, as it were. Who do you think is going to win? What's going to be their record? I'll pick five people and I'll send prizes. Um, okay. So first of all, let's talk about what kind of uh, coverage I might have. So somebody actually sent me these. Uh, well, not somebody. His his name is Jason as well as me. Um, these Abema stickers that he got at an event that he went to recently. So Abema, if you don't know them, is a website in Japan that live streams all kinds of things. Uh, sports, uh, they have shows, um, they have, yeah, variety shows. It's all in Japanese, and I believe, you know, they don't, you can't access it. If you try to go to abema.co.jp, I think is the address, 
um, and you're not living in Japan, it says you can't, you know, your region is not qualified to look at this. So you have to use a VPN. And even then I've heard it's sometimes difficult. Um, uh, they're very notorious about blocking, but people do access it and they show Sumo like all day. Um, I don't know exactly when it starts because I've never, you know, tried to watch it early in the day, but I know they show Jurio and uh, Makuchi, and I think they show all the divisions. I think they probably start at like 10 a.m. or noon. And because, you know, they have many channels on the website, you can hit many tabs. Um, so there is an Abema app because I live in Japan. I can get that through my iTunes store, my app store for Apple and put it on my big TV. So next Sunday, I'm going to attempt to maybe have that on at some point. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to be taping matches like I used to. I have to play with it first, um, but we'll see. What I'll probably do is turn my iPad around at the TV, put myself on a chair in between the iPad and the television, tell you some stuff, and in the background, there'll be matches happening. Um at least at first, just to see how it goes, see if I get any notifications about copyright, whatever. We'll just be very tentative and take it easy at the beginning and see what, what happens. Um, the only thing is, is, is anytime I would use that, I can't DVR it, okay? Because I, you know, my, my digital video recorder records my television and that's NHK and whatever other TV channels. So I can't record a Bema. And then, you know, but I could come home if it doesn't flag me, I could come home and at least do like the top, the Musubi no Ichiban, the Musubi no Mai, the top two matches of the day, maybe, because almost every day I'm home by, say, 530 and the sumo stops at 6 p.m. in Japan. And maybe that'll be an option. So I'm trying to do stuff, guys. But, you know, it's really up to you now to try to find other ways you can watch sumo other than me. And I know Kiribayama and Nato Sumo are going to try to do things. You just have to follow them and see what route they're going to take. And uh, they're streaming people. Um, a lot of that's live, though. And I know for a lot of you, especially if you're, say, in America, um, you know, live sumo is like 1 in the morning or something. Or, you know, even I think if you're in New York, it might be like 2 a.m. the Makuchi starts or something. So that's probably just not practical for a lot of you, which is why my channel did so well, right? Um but uh, just stick with it a little bit and see how we go. And um, I'm going to do my best. But I, I'm not going to have a lot of coverage. I'll mostly have day one, okay, because it's a Sunday. Day seven and eight, which is uh, <clears throat> the middle weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Although uh, day, day seven, the 11th, is junior high graduation at my school. So I obviously have to go to school that day, dress up in a suit. But I think we're done at like one or two in the afternoon. So I should be home in time for sumo. Then, um, oh no, I'm sorry. The 11th, see, I'm I'm, I'm messing up already. The, the sumo starts on the 12th. So that'll be no problem. The middle weekend, 18, 19, again, probably no problem. The 21st is actually vernal equinox day, like spring equinox. It's a national holiday in Japan. So that Tuesday, the 21st, I'll be off school. But then, as, you, as most of you know, if you watch some of the other videos that I've already posted to this new channel, uh, my niece, um, Brittany, is coming with her new husband, Alex, to Tokyo and to Japan for only, only about eight days, unfortunately. They're only coming for a week. And they have one weekend, and they're spending it with me, and we're going to meet up in Osaka and go to sumo on day 14, live sumo. And then uh, we're going to go to Nara, the Todaji, the big uh, Buddhist temple on sunday the 26th and then they're going to get on a bullet train and go back to tokyo and do tokyo for the rest of the week and i'm going to return to where i live and um <clears throat> so i won't really be around at all for final two days coverage although you know i'll take some pictures i'll you know and, and on the 26th um it depends what time i get home that night um i i will put up a video wrapping up you know coverage and stuff um, I might have little five minute videos, like here's what happened today. And what I'll do is I'll just, you know, there'll be spoilers. I won't put anything in the title that gives away who won or lost, but uh, uh, you, you know, you should watch the, if you watch one of my daily updates or whatever, let's say I post an update on day four on the 15th, you know, I'm going to tell you who won and lost that day. So don't watch it. If you want to try, if you figured out a way to watch matches 
or at least wait until you have watched the matches if you don't want to have the winners and losers spoiled for you. Um, okay, so that's kind of what coverage is going to be like. I'm just playing with the format, playing with things I can do. Hopefully by May, we'll kind of have it worked out and I can uh, maybe be more, uh, you know, consistent in what I offer. But uh, let's see how we do. Be patient, please. And, uh, and you know, hopefully uh, you'll still come to the channel and enjoy uh, my comments and the community and leaving comments and discussing the day's events, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. <clears throat> little. How are you doing? How's life where you are in March? Is, is March a hectic month for you? March is a hectic month for me. Uh, we just had senior high graduation on February 28th which was wonderful. And I, and I really enjoyed it. Um, if you follow me on my other Twitter, Taisha Jason, I post a little like 10 minute video of them all throwing their caps in the air. And, um, and, you know, I just gave exams. I'm grading this weekend. <laughs> like I'm working, obviously, even though I'm not at school, I'm grading, you know, papers that got turned in uh, to the online service where the students upload them. And I have to check and make sure they didn't plagiarize and everything. Um, and then I gave, you know, paper exams and essay exams because I teach from seventh grade all the way up to 12th grade. So it's quite a range of ability. And um, and our, my grades are due on Thursday the 9th. And uh, then, you know, we've got graduation and, and just wrapping up the school year and stuff. So and then teachers leave and new teachers come and we move our desks and blah, 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 blah. Um, so, uh, March is a very busy month for me, but of course I enjoy watching sumo and I love going to Osaka. Um, it, it's a great city and, uh, I actually always go and I stay in Kobe. I love Kobe actually more than I probably love Osaka. Um, and, uh, I just have some favorite restaurants. I have a favorite hotel that I always try to stay at, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I, I am planning to do both, uh, while I have my niece and, um, uh, my, nephew-in-law i don't even know what's you know alex i'll just call him alex while alex and Brittany are here okay so big questions number one will taran afuji the yokozuna be competing in the march tournament no word yet um but most pundits most sumo people that i trust um are saying it'll be may so most, I think I, most of us would be very surprised if he shows up on day one to compete. Um, I think he's shown up at some other events and uh, people have been able, you know, some people have been able to go see some training. Um, and I think the consensus is he still needs some time and nobody begrudges him that, you know, he had a big surgery. We'd rather him come back strong than just try to come back and not do well. So my guess is he will not be competing. Um, and so the top person will be Takakesho, the lone Ozeki. And I guess I might as well share my screen. I might as well jump over and start to look at the Bonds K here. So <clears throat> this is Fred Pink's chart, of course, the amazing Fred. Thank you, Fred. Okay. So Terana Fuji, of course, uh, was you know hasn't didn't fight in Fukuoka didn't fight in Tokyo and as a Yokozuna you're allowed to do that right you don't get demoted um, but he's got a you know he he needs to show up in May right he he's uh, he sat out a couple now he needs to show everyone that he can come back or you know he maybe he he can't and then he'll have to retire um, but th those are his two choices right. Okay, Takikeshu, of course, won the U show with a 12 and 3 at Ozeki, and he's our lone Ozeki. Had a 12 and 3 in Fukuoka, but they didn't promote him to uh, to Yokozuna. There was some discussion that maybe that, you know, uh, since he was runner up here and he lost in a playoff and he won the U show, that they might promote him. But, uh, you know, basically he has to win. He has to win this March tournament if he wants to become Ozeki. And I think he has a good shot. Um, he's going to be fighting most of the same guys. And there's no reason to think that he can't get 12 or 13 wins. He doesn't have to fight Terano Fuji most likely. Uh, but, uh, you know, so this is a really good chance for him to finally become an Ozeki. I mean, a Yokozuna. So who is he going to be fighting? Well, uh, 
there are no other Ozeki. So he's going to be in the Musubi no Ichiban every day. He's going to be in the final match every day. Going to get those big white envelopes every time he wins. So that's another big incentive, right? And he's got three Sekewake this tournament to fight. He's got Wakataka Kage, Hoshoru, and a promoted Kiribayama. Okay. So, of course, Wakataka Kage and Hoshoru, neither of them got double digits in January, but they both got over eight wins. Okay. Uh, so they're the two guys that are sort of like on the path, trying to maybe get to the 33 that they need to become an Ozeki. They're, they're, they're the two most likely candidates to become an Ozeki in 2023. You might add Asanoyama into that group. It just depends how, how much he just rages through the lower, lower part of the Makuchi when he gets promoted. Um, everyone's guessing at the end of this tournament, he's going to be promoted into the top division again. Um, all he's pretty much got to do at Jurio one, and we'll look at the Jurio division in a minute is get a Kachikoshi. And so and the, most people are expecting him to win the U show down in the Jurio. All right. But those are the two guys. Kiribayama, of course, though, uh, is coming off an 11 and four at Komasubi in uh january so if he put up 10 plus wins at sekewake let's say he went 10 and 5 at sekewake this tournament he'd have 21 wins and in may if he were to if you if you were able to get 11 or 12 wins um and have a good tournament he could get promoted to ozeki um because you can start in komasubi you don't have to be all your wins don't have to be at the rank of sekewake so um he's sort of ahead of Wakatakage and Hoshoru in a way, although Hoshoru had 11 wins back here in November, but see, then he dipped all the way down to eight. So 11 plus eight is only 19. So to get to 33, he'd have to win the U show and probably get like, you know, 14, a 14 and one or a 15 and oh. Now, if he does that, they will probably make him an Ozeki because they want an Ozeki. They want more, you know, they want to put somebody at that position. They don't want to only have one Ozeki. But they get, you got to earn it, right? So uh, there is a slight chance for Hoshoru. Wakataka Kage, you know, he, eight eight wins and nine wins. He's really, he's got to just keep going. Now, the nine wins could count, but he would obviously need, you know, 11 or 12 this time and 11 or 12 next time. So he, he, he would have to wait, you know, March and May, have good performances in both with more than just double digit. He needs, you know, 11 or 12. And, uh, you know, if he wins the U show, that would help a lot. Uh, so we'll just have to keep an eye. Okay, who else got promoted? Well, Wakamoto Haru uh, was Komasubi with a nine and six. So they kept him at Komasubi. So that's kind of interesting. They didn't promote him up to Sekewake. Um, I guess they wanted only three. And so the person that obviously got it was Kiribayama because he had the better record. Kotsunawaka also had a winning record at Komasubi. Usually a winning record at Komasubi puts you up at Sekewake. You know, if, if the slots open and stuff, but he has to wait. So Wakamoto Haro and Colton Waka both repeat at Komasubi. Daesho jumps back up to Komasubi after getting a 10 and 5 at M1. And Toby Zaru was at M1. He just got the 8 and 7. Uh, and he is back at Komasubi. So we have four Komasubi and three Sekewake, one Ozeki. So that's eight guys kind of in the top Sanyaku branch or uh section of the top division and most likely no yokozuna then tamawashi goes up to uh m1 abi uh you know after skyrocketing after his U show win um he did manage to get a kachikoshi at m3 so he's at m2 uh ryuden goes up to m2 after a nine and six uh matakeyumi went down slightly one rank who else went down shodai of course left sekewake skipped right over Komasubi and is now in the M's uh, at Maigashiro 1 West. Uh, who else took a huge drop? Takiyasu, you know, and then that was because he pulled out. He only got one win and then all the rest were absences and losses. So just plummeted down to Maigashiro 7. Uh, Matakeyumi, oh, we just talked about him. Nishikigi came up quite a bit. Uh, Koto Shoho, huge jump for him from M13 to M5. So huge jump up. He's going to have quite a different roster of, of opponents uh, this time. Endo, no stranger to the top ranks, goes back up to M6. Um, 
Ichinojo was suspended. Okay, so we're going to see him down in Jurio. Uh, Tochi Notion. Uh, so he's the other big question, right? Tochi Notion, uh, only two wins, had to pull out of the tournament, has been placed at Jurio 2. We'll see that in a moment. Will he compete? Will he announce his retirement and say, nope, you know, I've had a good run. I'm, you know, 35, 36, whatever he is in age. Uh, I'm going to hang it up. I'm not going to go. Or is he going to go? Nope, I'm going to compete. I'll get my eight or nine wins at Jurio 2 and bounce right back up into Makuchi. Um, who knows? It depends on his condition. Uh, but no announcement has been made there either. Okonomi, of course. The man behind me retired, so he opened up a slot. Uh, <clears throat> who else did pretty good? Takata Fuji, pretty good leap from M16 up to M12. Uh, Mitoru and Surugisho, both at M15, go down to M16 and M17, which is our bottom rank. Uh, and then we have four guys making their debut. Hokuseho, Bushozan, Kimbozan, and Daishoho, all getting placed pretty high up. Um, you know, over somebody like Oho, it's terrible four and 11 at M8. They took him all the way down to M15 below some of the debut guys. Um, so lots of new guys to look at. Um, three of them are making their debut in the top division. Uh, Ura, fan favorite, is here at M8. Uh, Ichi Yamamoto, pretty big jump for him up to M8. Uh, who else? Uh, Ono Show. M4, may say down from Komasubi, like uh, Shodai, you know, both got just kicked right out of Sanyaku, may say down to M4. So there's a lot of talent uh, at the top of the Bonzake right now, and then a lot of sort of newcomers down at the bottom. And uh, it, it should be a fun, fun tournament. Uh, I'll link to Fred's charts down in the description if you want to go get your own copy of this and have a look. He always does a wonderful job on these charts. So let's look again uh, at uh, Jurio because uh, there's going to be a lot going on down there. So Asunoyama, as you can see, is at a J1. And uh, he, uh, of course, won the U show at the 14 and one at J12. So there, there's just no, I think no question <laughs> that he will at least get eight wins uh, to bounce up to the top division again and start to, uh, you know, head back up toward his former rank of Ozeki. And, uh, uh, you know, but he should, he should probably win the U show. Let's face it. Tohakuru is there with him. Chiono Kuni, Tochi Notion here at J2. So he was born in 1987 in October 88, 89, 90, 91. 90. So he is 35 going on 36. So it'll just depend. Like I said, no announcement yet. Uh, but uh, we will see if he decides to compete. Uh, other wrestlers have done it. So, you know, uh, he was an Ozeki once. And we'll talk about that in a minute. They put Ichinojo here at M. Uh, I'm sorry, J3. Uh, Enho, a very popular wrestler at J5. Roga, the Russian there. And then let's see, um, as we go down here, uh, Ochi making his debut. He's also from Hakuho Stable. So a lot of uh, our eyes are going to be on him. And uh, Hokuseho, the other wrestler from Hakuho Stable, is uh, is making his Makuuchi debut. So he's a very proud papa right now. Very proud Oyakata coach Hakuho. Been tweeting out a lot on his Twitter. Um, you should follow him. He puts up some fun pictures and stuff um, about OGI and, and Hokuseho, both making their debut in respective divisions. So, uh, Enho also, of course, in his stable. And then the other one you might ask about is Ishiura, which I believe Ishiura is not even in Makushita anymore. I think he's listed in some Damne. Let's see if we can find him with a really quick uh, glance through here. So this is the fourth tier division. It uses the word san, which is the Japanese word for three. So it's third from the bottom, if you want to think of it that way. Wow, I'm not even seeing him. Mm, I thought he was in San Damne. Let's keep going, though. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Where is she? Wow, I don't even see him. If you guys saw him, let me know in the comments. Um, oh, I think I know how I can figure it out. Hold on. Cha cha. There are ways around this website sometimes that you can get. So you can go to a stable, and it says here's you know Miyagino stable. Yokozuna Hakuho is the stable master, the coach. Here is their Makuchi listed wrestler, and then Makushita. Ah, he's not listed. Oh, no, he is. There he is. Wow, Sandamne 90. So I don't know why he just doesn't retire. If he can't compete, it's very odd. So I'll try to see. Maybe he's finally going to start fighting again. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he is He is obviously uh, hasn't competed. I mean, look at all that, you know, in a long, long time. Here he was at my guess, year was 16, had to pull out. Down in Jurio, down to Makushita, Makushita, Sandamne, Sandamne. So, yeah. Um, I'm assuming he's done, but he's not pulling himself out. I, I don't quite understand it, but there you go. Okay, so Jurio should be a lot of fun. Here are some of the Bonzake topics they put out. The Takake Show is only the third Ozeki in history to win the championship right after finishing the previous tournament with the same number of victories as the champion, but losing in the playoff. That's a very odd statistic, but they have a whole table down here at the bottom of, of as we scroll that you can look at. Um, in general, though, the, the part of the problem is is the guys that have been winning the U show haven't had a strong follow up tournament all last year. Um, some of them haven't even gotten Kachikoshi in their follow up tournament to winning the the whole thing. So we don't want Takakesho to have that happen to him. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Wakatakage stays in Sanyaku. Seven consecutive tournaments. You know, there's six tournaments in a year, so that's over a year he's been at that tough Sakewake rank and just hasn't found the consistency to put three together that get him to 33 wins. Hoshoru also uh, in Sanyaku for seven consecutive tournaments, not all of them at Sekiwake, but still he's been at Sekiwake or Komosubi for over a year. Uh, Sekiwake debut at Kiribayama. So he's never been that high before. Uh, so congratulations to him. Uh, Wakamoto Haru is Komosubi, second consecutive tournament. Uh, Kotonowaka stays there. Daesho returns. Tobizaru returns. So he was he was there in November, then went back down, and then now he's jumped back up. Here's our guy making. Here's our guys making their debut. Kim Bozon. Uh, so it tells you some stats about them. He's from Kazakhstan. So there's a little bit about him, um, and you can go click on their names on the Bonzake list, and it'll take you to their little bio. Bouchot's on, all right, and Hokuseho from Hakuho Stable. So those are the three guys that are making their debut, and then Daishoho is returning. He hasn't been in the top division in 19 tournaments, so that's three years, right? Uh, so, And we haven't had three newly promoted Makiuchi wrestlers all at the same time uh, since March 2019. When it was Tomokaze, Teretsuyoshi, and Daishoho, oddly enough, who's making his return. So that's, yeah, we haven't had a whole lot of new blood in the top division. So it's good to see three brand new guys come in and try their best. Uh, Jurio debuts uh, Tamashoho okay? and Ochiai, who I mentioned, is in Hakuho stable. A couple guys returning Tomokaze, <laughs> Tokushoryu. And then they put this little list about Tochi Notion. Tochi Notion is the seventh former Ozeki to be demoted. They said from Jurio. I think they meant to Jurio. Uh, the previous six, Daiju, Miyabiyama, Baruto, Terunofuji, Koto Shogiku, and most recently, Asanoyama. Uh, so these are guys that were as high as Ozeki in their career and got demoted. Some of them probably... Uh, retired right after that happened but uh there you go uh so again we just don't know if he's going to compete yet we haven't heard uh some little charts uh of uh what they were talking about so this is always a good button it's over here uh when you go to the home page uh you go under matches and topics and then go to topics bonds k topics and uh, you can find some of this information. It doesn't appear on the very first day the Bonske is up. It takes them about a day to post this information, but it's worth checking out. 
Tachi, I, of course, <laughs> it's a great uh, thumbnail there. Tachi, of course, has a good rundown. We'll, we'll skip past this. Their uh, Haru Banske postmortem, meaning, you know, how did their predictions go? How did they do? Um, and you can go back and look at his predictions here. And then they go over everybody and how they went up and down. And here's Bruce, another guy at the site, talking about what he thought about where people are, um, you know, and, uh, you know, why did they keep Asunayama at Jurio 1? Why didn't they put him up in the top division, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then at the very top, here's Bruce writing a quick article about, you know, my channel and Kintami Yamanato and how, you know, it's hurting sumo fandom for any foreign sumo fans. So I appreciate him kind of having support for us there on Tachi Ai. And uh, yeah, as always, go over there and, and check them out. So, okay, what else? I think that's it. So let me hit stop share. So uh, yeah, Osaka, you know, is is oftentimes kind of a stormy tournament. You know, there's uh, a lot going on. The guys, I think, the wrestlers really enjoy going out to Osaka and getting to enjoy some of the nightlife there and and training in a different city. And like I said, the weather's a little bit warmer, so you're not quite as cold walking around, and etc. Um, but I, I look forward to going. I've I've got my tickets uh, for day fourteen and and. Uh, I'll be tweeting out about that and then I'll share some of that footage, et cetera, on the channel later, but do come back on day one, um, which is uh, the 12th Sunday. Um, like I said, I, since it's a, you know, it's a Sunday and I'll be home all day. I'm going to, I'm going to watch Jurio and I'm going to post about what happens in Jurio. And then I'll probably make a post at halftime in the top division and then a post at the end of the day. And so I plan on making kind of those three videos and uh, just saying, and, and they probably won't be that long because I'm going to be watching live and everything and I won't have that long to go in between, but like maybe over my shoulder, you know, you can watch the Dohyo Iri, them walking in in their Keisho Mawashi while I'm talking about things. Um, I probably will turn the sound off. Uh, Abema doesn't have any English language uh, uh, commentators or anything like that, like uh, NHK do. I believe, and it's been a long time since I watched Abema. I believe they do at least list the names of the wrestlers in English or, you know, Romaji, as we say. Um, but maybe they don't. Um, I know they always have furigana for the hiragana, uh, for the kanji, though. So if you can, if you have some really basic uh, Japanese, you could probably read the names of the wrestlers. But uh, they'll also say them out loud if you have a VPN and you want to watch, you know, they'll say, oh, it's Hoshoru versus Matakeyumi. And, uh, you know, you can probably pick up the names. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, just come back on, on day. The big, the, the big thing is, you know, when you come back on, on day one on, on the 12th is I'll, you know, we'll know by then, you know, is Terano Fuji showing up? Is Tochi Noshin going to fight in Jurio? You know, these kind of questions will all be answered by then. So, uh, definitely check in on that if you're interested. Okay. So the contest, I'll put the link down in the description box. Uh, like I said, you, you'll just be put in a name, email, drop down menu, pick one of the top division wrestlers, uh, 42 of them. Well, maybe I, I won't even, I probably won't put Terano Fuji's name on there. So nobody even picks it. Um, so pick one of the other guys. Who do you think is going to win? And then what's their record going to be? Is it going to be 15 and 0, 14 and 1, 12, you know, 13 and 2, 12 and 3, etc. And we'll do that kind of like, and then I'll pick five out of that grouping. Um, last time it was like 60 people correctly predicted that Take Keisho would win with a 12 and three. I picked five people out and I sent them all prizes. Um, and uh, while I won't be around on the final weekend on the 25th and 26th, I should have time um, to do a wrap up video fairly quickly on the 27th or 28th and then announce the prize winners. And school doesn't start for me in April, probably until, well, I have to probably, you know, start going on like April 5th, but probably the students don't come back. We don't officially start until April 7th, maybe even April 10th. Uh, you know, it's just hard to say when, when, the, when they'll start yet. Um, but there you go. Okay. Uh, that's about it. A little shorter this time. Uh, I can't I'm trying to think if there's anything else I was supposed to tell you guys. Um, thank you for everybody that's gone by and sub so far. Um, thank you for your patience. Um, 
yeah, the kind of the live stream kind of got messed up because of the restrictions on my channel because it's so new. I can't even monetize yet, even though this is all my own uh, property. You know, I mean, it's just me and my apartment. Um, you know, you have to have so many watch hours or something. Plus, you have to have at least a thousand subscribers. That was no problem. We got that really easily. But I have to have, you know, so many watch hours on the videos before I can put ads. I know some of you are like, don't even put ads, Jason. Um, I probably will just because... Um, I, you know, not a lot of you are going to go by the tip jar anymore. Um, and I understand that that's fine. I'll put the link to the tip jar down in the thing, but, um, I'll probably put some ads, uh, on the videos. So yeah, let me know what you think. You know, you can let me know what you think down in the description. Um, I know I get annoyed sometimes. I'm like, I just want to watch a four minute video and I have to watch 30 seconds of ads. I mean, that's what our lives are like in 2023, like 30 seconds of my life. You know, how dare you, you know, but um, uh, for this free thing I want to watch. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I, I'm just like you, I get annoyed. I'm like, okay, skip, skip, wait, it's making me watch the whole 15 second ad. Damn it. Um, so uh, I get it. I get it. But it, you know, if I can make a little bit of money on YouTube for the first time ever, um, you know, that might be nice. I, I have no idea what, what you get paid these days. I remember way back when I had my other channel, what I would get paid and it wasn't a lot because <laughs> uh, I never had, you know, super, super popular videos, but you know, I got 10,000, 12,000 views sometimes on some of the videos I made back when I was a teacher. Um, okay. That's it. So if you're a Tochi Notion fan, fingers crossed, I guess that he's healthy and he's going to come and he's going to fight in Jurio. Um, if he has to pull out of the tournament and he can't fight, would he get demoted further down Jurio and then try to come back even further? I mean, because right now at J2, if he gets an eight and seven or a nine and six or obviously double digit, he's he's automatically going to jump back up to the Makuchi. Uh, I think that's almost a given that they'll they'll promote him back as long as he gets a winning record. He's going to have some tough competition down there. He's going to fight Asunoyama. He's going to fight Ichinojo. Um, it's not going to be a cakewalk, but it it really just depends on whatever injury he had in January. Is he better now? Um so we'll see. First bus show without my buddy Okonomi, my man from Shimane Ken. So I'll miss seeing him and talking about his matches. But uh, hopefully there'll be some other fun stuff to watch. And I'll see you in a week for day one. Thank you for watching this video. Giving it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, just uh, like I said, be patient with the new format. And we'll see how it goes. But of course, leave comments, leave your feedback. I'm probably going to have a new email that you can send me stuff at because... I had to start a new Gmail. Um, I haven't given it out yet, but uh, yeah, probably switch over to that because Japan Juku now is, I don't really need to go there anymore, but I'm still kind of using it to wrap things up. So that switch will probably happen in May. Um, there's still the t-shirt shop. This is not one of them, of course, but uh, the, that bag though is, you can get that bag, that tote bag. A very strategically placed tote bag um, and other uh, sumo goods from my shop. That link will be down. And of course, that helps me a little bit as well. So, okay. Take care of yourself. I hope you're having a good weekend. I'll see you in one week for day one. Peace.